Hello everyone, Christian for the Wind here, and welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Uh, we are halfway through Mount Moon. Uh, we cleared out the other floors, I do believe. And now we've got to deal with Team Rocket down here. So that's what we're going to do today. Hopefully get through this and make our way to Cerulean City. Um, hopefully we can find a Clefairy. We, we were not very, uh, we are not treated very kindly uh, to Clefairy in the last episode. Oh, wow, that's an Onyx. I have not seen Onyx. Come here, big boy. Get in my ball, please. That's that's not what I asked for. Um, we use a great ball. Oh wow, <laughs> overshot that. That was crazy. <laughs> it's just, whoo, right over him. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. Now we have an Onyx, which is cool. I mean, we can't do anything with it. I mean, we could use it, but why? <laughs> Four times weakness to water and grass? No, thank you. All right. We'll grab this thing. Revive! Um... And really... Aha! Found you, you little devil. It's tiny just like the last one, too. <sighs> Ow. <laughs> Bang my hand against my desk. Uh, maybe you heard it. Maybe you didn't. It'll be alright. Yay, we did it! All it took was us to just change to a great ball. We got a health candy. 94 experience points. It's pretty good. Level 16 Eevee. Noise. Noise indeed. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Just let me fight. We're almost out of here. We're so close. The team Rocket Run. I really like the little, like, the flash, uh, things. Why are you wiggling your paws at me? L look at him wiggle. He's like... Does that freak you guys out? About to take a nasty hit. Oh, wow. Eat it up, Bulbasaur. Just put it in your bowl and slop it up. Man, bubbles are so good. Right now. I still wouldn't pick him as my starter, but... I definitely wouldn't mind having one. It's not that I hate Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is neat. He's awesome. He's OG. You know, he's OG grass starter. But it is what it is. Can I get away from... Oh, they, they don't talk to me. Uh, da, 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 da. That was an earthquake. I'm sorry. Um, are we... Okay. That was a very long pathway. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. No, you... You definitely do not deserve a great ball. There we go. Please just stay in the Pokeball so I can get out of here. I got people to fight. Thank you. You're a good guy. Appreciate it, Zubat. Appreciate it. I really wish there were more Pokemon in this game. Other than just the original 151. That would make my heart happy. I really hope they they do uh, they do let's go remakes for all the generations. Like I'm hoping I'm hoping we get um, Gen Four remakes next, and then get a let's go Johto. 
I think that'd be cool. Will it happen? Who knows? But it would be awesome. For sure. Alright, we'll go out into this Pikachu here. Get some nice thunder shock going on. Get absorbed for a whopping two damage. The the dose de Maggio. Uh, and that's gonna be a two hit KO. Unfortunately. It's a little sad. But oh well. That's what you get when you get like a base ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's not base 10. It feels like it's base 10. The move is not strong at all. But, whatever. Alright, move it out of the way, Zubat. I gotta fight this dude. But you can't have both of them, sir. Super Nerd Miguel. A Voltorb. Um, I'm gonna Leech Seed you. And we'll go from there. Mostly just because I, I need health. <laughs> You're going to do three damage. And we recover. Hopefully at least three. <laughs> exactly three. So we will... Just maintain our current status. Should have poison powdered him. I thought about it. I thought about it real hard. But ultimately decided against it. So, here we are. The only bad thing is, we don't get that 3 HP back. And I don't remember what this dude has... A Magnemite, that's what he has. Um, He's got double kick, right? Yes, he does. Or it. I don't know what it is. I think it's a boy, actually. It is! Haha. -ha. I think I remember making a comment about how like all my Pokemon at one point were all boys. They very well might still be all male <laughs> by accident no 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 that's not true because I have that Nidoran which is technically female but like the game recognizes it as genderless so all right and we go take that uh, dome vassal because Kabuto is the best because I mean like what's an Ammonite it's a snail. And you know what it evolves into? I mean, it's not a snail. <laughs> I don't know. The difference between Ammonite and Amistar is just it gets scarier. <laughs> That's about it. With Kabuto, did a Kabutops, though? It, like, grows freaking swords for hands. It's crazy. Um, Pidgey. Okay. Um, Bulbasaur does not want to stay in. I'm just going to tell you that right now. But Pidgey is okay here, actually. Um, I think I want to get rid of coughing. I don't, I don't remember what they do. Um, Ekans is going to acid both of them. And Coughing's just going to single target down the Bulbasaur slot. Which is now Eevee. Alright, hopefully the combination of Headbutt and Wing Attack will grant us... Yes, it will grant us the glorious KO. 80 experience points. It's nice. Nidoran goes to 15, wants to learn Helping Hand. Nope, we will not. 
I guess it's gonna use acid again. Uh, does three damage? I think it did three damage to Pidgey. And we'll just keep our headbutt wing attack wombo combo going on here. No reason to stop that. Got it. Oh, I, was, I was really hoping Bulbasaur would level up one more time. <laughs> Looks like Team Rock is blasting off. Team Rocket's blasting off again! TM. Alright. We are on Route 4. Which is a glorious route. Because there are Charmander here. And we're, we're gonna catch one. I don't care if I have to spend an entire episode and a half to catch one. We are going to catch one. It is going to happen. Listen to the words I'm saying. Because it's going to happen. We're going to have a Charmander, dang it. Nanab Berry. Sweet. Um, I actually don't think we can get to that Pokeball. I think we have to come back for that one later. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's one we have to come back to later. Alright. So we're gonna wait. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lure as well. I didn't have to do this last time, he just kinda showed up. But we're gonna we're gonna do it just to just to do it, you know. Oh boy, ratata. Right, da. And mmm boy. Smacking my Pokeball away. That's rude. That's real rude. I don't know who you think you are. I don't know who you think you are, you stinky rat. <laughs> I I'm harassing it. I'm I'm so sorry, rat. It's a, please accept my apology. Please accept my apology. Accept it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm like the Pokemon Whisperer here, guys. I don't know if you're catching up on that or not. But that's totally what's happening. Hey, level ups. And I guess Nidoran doesn't evolve at level 15. So it's like, whatever. Ah, oh, Bulbasaur does. At 16, though. Okay, well... There goes my theory about Bulbasaur evolving late. <laughs> it might be Squirtle. Somebody evolves late. Bulbasaur might evolve early, or Ivasaur might evolve early. I think he evolves at 32. He might be 1632. I don't remember. The bud on its back grows by drawing energy. It gives off an aroma when it is ready to bloom. All right, come on, Charmander. Where you at, buddy? Just come on. Come on. Come on. Stay away, Spiro. I don't want you. Where you at, buddy? You stay away, Radita. Bye, Spiro. Hello, Spiro. Dear goodness. It's not what I asked for. Come on. We just stand in waiting. Moving out of Pokemon's way so they don't hit us. Oh, that was close. Come on. Just please. Please show up. Please. <sighs> oh my gosh. I don't... Do we have Spiro? Yeah, I think we have Spiro already. I couldn't remember. Find out for sure. Maybe. There we go. We will find out for sure here in a minute. 
Oh my goodness, maybe not. I don't care. I'm running. I don't care. Is there another patch of grass we can go into? There's a Psyduck. I refuse. I refuse to catch you. We'll get the Psyduck, for sure. It's new. Wagga wagga. Yeah, we already have a uh, Spear because if, uh, if you look in the top right corner in the main screen when you encounter a Pokemon, um, Spear had that Pokeball and uh, Psyduck did not. So, confirmed. Always tormented by headaches. It uses psychic powers, but whether it intends to do so is not known. Poor Psyduck. And the Snakey Boy's after us. Snakey Boy. Just get caught, please. Or not. Whatever. Just please. So we can move on with our lives. Thank you. I appreciate it. I thank you so much. See, I'm, I'm losing valuable experience that could totally be going on my Charmander right now. And it's not. Um, who's learning bite? Eevee. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'll allow it. My bad. This is where I found Charmander, right? It's gotta be. Is there another patch of grass? No, because that goes straight into the city. Okay. So we lie in waiting. Until we see the faithful Charmander. So I guess I could use this time to kind of talk about, like sword and shield like sword and shield is very polarizing at the moment because there's a large um kind of a large following of people who are strictly against it which i understand why but i think it's a little over dramatic and there are I, i've seen several youtubers well not several youtubers um, there are quite a few people who are uh, taking advantage of the fact that everyone is reacting so um, vocally negative towards Sword and Shield. Um, there's one particular YouTube I, YouTuber I have in my mind. Most of his videos have like a thousand views on it maybe. Um, and I even checked Social Blade. Uh, but on July 19th, he uploaded a video about him playing the Sword and Shield demo and how it wasn't good. And I think it's just a case of confirmation bias, uh, pretty much. And people are just looking for reasons to not like the game. Um, and I'll admit, I was, I was very like, oh no, this is going to be bad. And then, um, it was probably actually Shady Penguin who, um, I, I think... A, a tweet or something he was like I'm I'm reserving judgment until the game comes out and it's like yeah that makes sense like we don't know exactly what's gonna happen until the game actually does come out um, so I'm going to save all judgment until I actually get to play it um, now I will I will go ahead and say I am NOT a fan of Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing um, I mean, although Gigantamaxing is probably the closest we are going to get um, to Mega Evolution, uh, but I the like it's still unclear, at least to my knowledge, uh, how much or how many Pokemon are actually going to um, be able to Gigantamax. I am just chucking balls at this thing for no reason. So. I don't know, but I would just say try to reserve as <laughs> try to 
try to reserve all your judgment for after the game comes. Hey, we might get a new arena. Please and thank you. Yes. Good. I think I'll probably swap her out for Psyduck so we can have some water coverage. And eventually it'll have some psychic coverage too, so that'll be nice. But we actually have an, another Pokemon coming up soon. Um, that will help us out on that front as well. When resting deep in its burrow, its barbs always retract. This is proof that it is relaxed. Catch combo of three on Ekans here. Um, I'm losing all hope that Charmander is... Oh, Spira, why? Go away. I don't want you. I'm losing all hope that Spiro or Charmander is going to show his lovely little bald head which makes me sad no stop it stay stay away you're all garbage trash tier Pokemon please change to Charmander somebody somebody please <gasps> yes and it's huge yes look at him run <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. Alright, we're gonna switch to Great Balls. And we're going to give him a Razzle Dazzle Berry. Oh, too early. There we go. Come on, Chimander. You know you want to be a part of this dream team here. That's what I thought. Yes! Yes! Beautiful. I love it. Oh, and some level ups. Oh, just juicy. Juicy. Roost. Yes, we will learn Roost. Roost is good. Roost is good for just some uh, nice, nice little recovery, you know? Uh, I think we're three levels away from a Pidgeotto. Which is pretty sweet. Seven levels away from Thunderbolt on Pikachu. The flame at the tip of its tail makes a sound as it burns. You can only hear it in quiet places. Huh. Interesting. It makes sense. I wonder if Charmander will show up again. We can get a catch combo going. I don't want to sit here that long. I already sat here long enough. But we got some nice little... Ooh, there's an item. We got some nice little discussion about Sword and Shield in there. Let me know what you guys think. Are you, are you excited for Sword and Shield? Like, what what's what's your uh, what's your opinion on it? All right, so we are now in Cerulean City. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and call it an episode right here. Um, I'm gonna do some housekeeping in between episodes. Just clear out some Pokemon in the box and uh, add some new Pokemon to the team. Um, I'll probably forget, but if I remember, I'll do a team preview uh, at the start of the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of Let's Go Eevee. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.